Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my new series, Five for Five, where each episode I address what I believe to be some of the most effective exercises for each muscle group, which I'll explain in five minutes. As always, be sure to check the description of this video where I'll include new links to Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts with new exercises showing variations and modifications. All right, with that being said, let's dive into the first of our shoulder-focused exercises. We need to be pushing a certain amount of resistance to be able to take that muscle to failure. Otherwise, if we don't, the body has no stimulus in which it needs to overcome. Seated dumbbell presses really allow us to load up the shoulders with a lot of weight. I'll probably alternate my workouts between doing dumbbell overhead presses and barbell. Having one click down means I'm actually relieving some of my back muscles and can then really focus on loading up my shoulders as I press up. Now, another point about pressing the dumbbells overhead, all we need to do is press straight up. We don't need to bring the dumbbells together at the top. Also, I'm not allowing my elbow to drop much below my shoulder height. And the reason for that is I then reduce the amount of load on the shoulder, increasing the amount of effort needed to get that arm back up. So, full lockout at the top, elbow in line with the shoulder, drive it back up. If you find that you're really having to throw that weight up and you're not in control, Lower the weight down, focus on the quality of each rep rather than that perceived effort of how much weight you're lifting. Let me first bring attention to the three deltoids of the shoulder. And lateral raises is a great one for the middle deltoid. Keep the elbow slightly bent. And the focus is on raising the elbow out to the side, not the hand. If you train in front of a mirror, use a light weight and look at your positioning of your arms and your shoulder. If you end up doing this where your wrists are higher than your elbow and shoulder, you end up looking like a seagull, know that we're not being effective with really training that muscle. Lighten the weight and get the elbow rotated out. Raise the elbow up. You can see my arms are actually slightly in front. They're not out to the side like this. So the focus is to really work that middle deltoid and we do that by raising the arm out to the side. Regardless of where that dumbbell might be, the dumbbell can be out to the front. As long as our arm is raising up to the side of our body, we are working the deltoid. All right, let's move on, check out exercise number three. Rear delt cable flies. This has long time been a favorite of mine as I found it really helps me bring about greater detail and definition on that rear deltoid. All we need to do is find two cable pulleys and we cross our hands. So we grab the left one with our right hand and vice versa with the left so that we've got opposite cables in each hand. Think about where the elbow is going. So we're holding the two cable pulleys, we're opening the arms out, which allows us to focus on engaging and loading up the rear deltoid. But in order for us to perform this really effectively, the elbow needs to drive back behind. Now, if you find this a little bit challenging using cables, start off with a pair of dumbbells, light dumbbells, either supported on an incline bench or just in a bent over rope position with your hips hinged and your chest up, holding the dumbbells, and then rotate them out, so knuckles pointing forwards. From here, drive the elbow up, and it's that same principle of engaging that rear deltoid. We're focusing on the anterior deltoid being the main deltoid that's being worked here. And for me personally, I like standing, alternating front dumbbell raises in a hammer position, meaning I keep my grip like that, palms facing each other, or at least facing the center of my body as I raise the dumbbell up. Now you see I'm actually bringing one arm slightly in front of my body. So the dumbbell ends at the center line as opposed to keeping it out. And I do that because I feel I work more of the anterior deltoid in that way. I'm also not swinging the arms up and down. The front deltoids often get worked a lot with a lot of the pressing movements and especially chest. So if you feel the front section of your shoulders are somewhat overdeveloped compared to the middle and the rear, perhaps leave these off because again, they get worked with a lot of pressing movements. Instead, I'd focus much more on the rear deltoids to help balance out that whole arm complex and the shoulder. I've chosen the Smith Machine Overhead Press for my fifth and final exercise within today's video, simply because it's a different type of motion. We have a fixed rail, which means all we need to do is push that weight up and lower it back down. Unlike the dumbbell or barbell overhead press, all of them require us to manage that range of motion, which is great for working a lot of muscles all at once, but when we're talking about truly isolating the muscle, 
Performing on a fixed range of motion allows us to load up as much weight as we can, providing we can still get those 10 or 12 reps. It's a lot more effort then done by that muscle. Another thing about these overhead Smith machine presses is the angle of my elbows. All of the other presses, I pretty much have the elbows out to the side. But with this, because I'm not needing to stabilize that weight, I can pull my elbows in. It simply allows me to work the shoulder in a different way than I'm unable to working with free weights. Therefore, it's important, I feel, to include a whole host of different exercises and types of machines to really work that muscle in a full spectrum. All right, guys, there we have it. That wraps up today's five for five with our focus on shoulders. And once again, I wanna point out that these exercises aren't necessarily gonna be anything new that you've seen, but rather bring back attention to specifics about how to perform them and get the most out of your workouts. As always, check the description of this video where I'll include new links to Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts showing additional exercises as well as some variations and modifications. All right, go put it to work. Let me know how you find it, and I'll catch you here on the next one. Take care.